How do you how do you like your camp so far? As you get an opportunity to jump in and uh, and and contribute offensively the way you have. Yeah, you know, I think uh, you know Brooks and I've had some chemistry from uh, last year, obviously, and uh, playing together. Uh, you know, we've uh, been able to, you know, kind of play in the O zone and uh, you know show off our skills in the offensive zone and uh, you know likewise defensively. So uh, you know, it's been a good camp so far, and we're looking to continue that tonight. Have you been able to build off that that year with the Marlies? And I know you didn't get to see much action on the latter part of the playoffs, but being around that group and and what the expectations are going to be on you this year in terms of producing? Yeah, I think uh, you know obviously it wasn't uh, you know it wasn't fun watching, but uh, you know we had the group uh, you know poised to do something special, and uh, you know obviously we were fortunate enough to do that. So um, you know it was great to learn from you know the older guys like Benny Smith who have moved on, but um, you know it's. Uh, you know, it's going to be a good year again, and uh, obviously you can take a lot from, uh, you know, having a championship season like that. You're always uh, tethered, it seems, to Dickey. Uh, how important is that as you, you learn his off-ice habits in terms of uh, the gym and all that goes with it? Yeah, you think, I think I could take a couple more habits from him, but, um, you know, he's, he's a guy that, you know, from day one kind of looked over and took me in, which was, uh, you know, really nice. So, uh, you know, he's been a great mentor for me and, you know, kind of like a father away from home kind of thing. And, uh, you know, he's a great guy and he's great to every young guy and, you know, just a good guy in the room to have for everyone. Where do you think you've improved the most from last season to this season, the start of this season, or where do you hope to improve? The most? Um, yeah, I think uh, you know just playing without the puck. I think that's a big thing, and you know as you go up, uh, you know you have the puck less and less, uh, and uh, so you got to be able to get in open spots and be able to get the puck more. So I think uh, playing away from the puck's a big thing, and uh, obviously uh, something I've been trying to improve for sure. Is there anything specific that Coach Bab Babcock's tried to, to tell you or instill in you? Uh, I think move my feet, maybe. Yeah. I think yeah. he said that a couple times throughout the camp. Uh, maybe once or twice a practice, kind of move your feet, move your feet. So, uh, you know, that's something he's definitely harped on for sure. What's it like to play a game when he's behind you? It seems pretty intense from where we sit. <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, every play, every little face-off, every little detail is magnified. And, uh, you know, obviously that's what happens in the National Hockey League. And, um, you know, obviously he's had great success at, you know, every level he's coached. So, uh, you know, he's doing something right for sure. God given ability athletically in terms of especially the offense. What did you see in your goal in Buffalo Saturday night as that puck was fired into a pretty thick crowd? Um, yeah, I think uh, you know it was a great play by Brooksy to hold on to it and uh, you know kind of be heavy on it and then get up to Halsey and uh, you know I just kind of snuck around uh, the D there and you know, was able to get a stick on it and uh, didn't even realize it really went in until uh, you know Brooksy started yelling. So uh, it was uh, you know it was nice to get that one for sure and just uh, you know to contribute and put your best foot forward.